In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to reuse the content and the structure from one project to another project. Let's assume that you've put a project together and you have certain kinds of elements you've placed in the media room. You want to use those again, but you also have content you've placed down on your timeline in a project and you'd like to use that structure as well. If all you want to do is use the content, we have another tutorial called Reusing Content from One Project to Another. But this one goes a step further. It actually allows you to take the timeline structure that you've put in one project and use that as the building blocks for another one. In order to do this, we're going to need to go into a project area. So I can do that one of two ways. I'm in the media room and I can click on the right blue arrow and choose my projects. Or the same way to get to, the, to that screen is to click on the media content down arrow and click on my projects. Now immediately what it will attempt to do will be to rebuild a list of all the projects it can find in the default location. You can also change the place it looks. So if I click on the gear at the top and click on project, now I have a default location here. I'm going to browse in my system and go to another place on another drive and click on project info. And now this is a place where it will store and look for items. So there's different ways you can do that. What this means is that there are occasions when you have projects that you've done that will not show up in the list. If you want to make sure it is in the list, what you need to do is go ahead, find it in your file system, open it and save it again, and then it will be entered into the database where it will find it here. But just because it's not here does not mean it's lost in your file system. So what I'd like to do is show you a couple things that you can do. I can take any project I've done and simply drag it to the timeline and it will automatically pop up as if I were loading it normally. And I'll take this one and here we have this clip. We have a sound file. We have a beginning and end of an audio director tutorial. And so it works really easily. But let me do this again. Let me click on file. We'll do a brand new project. And in this case, what we're going to do is we'll click on media content, my projects again. And now I want to do a front and back. That's what I call this one. If I click on this tutorial here. What I've done is I've created a certain kind of a, an empty project where I have the front end of the things that are on the tutorial screen all lined up and all the media is in the media bin. If I click on media content, I see all the components that I'm using in this particular project. And then I have all the things on the end. This is where in our Sharper Turtle, we ask for you to like us. We ask you to subscribe and we give you our web address. I don't want to recreate these over and over and over again. So all I did was create an empty project where the front end is the way I want. The back end is the way I want. And all I need to do is enter the content in between. What I could do as well is I could say, well, I, I'm going to change the front end, but I want the back end to be standard. I can go ahead and delete all these things and uh, leave the gap. And now I have a back end that I can use. And so you, if you have a series of videos that are related, have common content, and somewhere along the line common structure, the way to deal with that is to open the project window under My Projects, find what you've done before, and then you can use it as the building block for your new project without having to reinvent a lot of work that you've done already. We hope you find this useful in uh, saving time as you continue to build one project after another in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.